Shopify up a bit today. It got an upgrade from City. The analyst says this is an attractive entry point for the company. He actually sees it trading at a discount to peers. We're joined by Tyler Radke, Director and Senior Equity Research Analyst at City. Tyler, thanks very much indeed for coming on the show. Um, give us your one or two reasons for upgrading Shopify, please. Yeah, good to be with you. So Shopify is a company we've always admired. We've been covering the stock for about three to four years. We've always struggled with the valuation and <clears throat> understanding the durability of growth, just given what is always a dynamic uh, consumer and, and competitive landscape. Overall, I think with the, the pullback in the stock, shares are roughly 20% off the highs on some concerns that the company is ramping up spending as they're going after some uh, performance marketing related initiatives. Ultimately, we think that the setup here heading into results next week uh, is attractive. We see upside to numbers. And then our recent channel checks and deep dive analysis into the merchant solutions business uh, of, the biz of, of Shopify leads us to believe that consensus is underestimating the growth potential of this company. And so if I add all that together, Basically, we think that Shopify can compound earnings and free cash flow growth by 30 to 40% over the next few years. And, and if you normalize for that robust growth rate on a earnings or free cash flow multiple, uh, Shopify is actually trading a lot below where some of the large cap peers trade in this space, such as a Salesforce or an Adobe. And what is the merchant solutions business? Can you remind us? Yeah, so, so think of Shopify, there's two main businesses. There's the software piece. So Merchants pay a certain amount per month uh, for the platform. And then merchant solutions, think of that as the transaction fee or take rate that they make on every sale. So a merchant does a million dollars of business. Uh, Shopify helps them with things from payments to shipping, loaning them money, Shopital Capital, uh, as well as advertising and uh, audiences, which is some of the newer uh, growth drivers. But effectively, that's like the take rate on uh, the, the amount of volume or merchandise volume that uh, merchants are, are putting through the platform. Is the whole e-commerce world going to be shaken up by the um, spreading of Timu and also Alibaba slash Alipay? Yeah, so it's, it's something we're, we're really watching. And, and certainly as we look at Timu, I mean, that continues to be towards the, the top of the charts of the most downloaded apps out there. That being said, uh, I think competitively, Shopify continues to actually uh, extend their market share lead. If you look back last quarter, uh, their GMV or gross merchandise volume uh, grew roughly 25% year over year, which was the strongest growth we'd seen in about two years since kind of the stimulus day. So, so if anything, it does seem that uh, Shopify is extending its lead. Obviously, those, those new entrants are, are something uh, to watch, but so far, uh, we, we like what we've seen, and I think there's a plenty of opportunity for Shopify to, to be successful uh, amidst you know, some rising new entrants. If, if I'm a merchant, a, a small merchant planning to sell online, is Shopify still the best choice? I know that's a very broad question, but are, <laughs> have strong rivals emerged? So I think there's a, there's a lot of competition for sure, but what we're seeing at the low end of the market, I mean, Shopify has over 2 million merchants, so 2 million SMBs, uh, you know, sh uh, standing up sites on on uh, on the Shopify platform. And they continue to, to grow that very, very nicely. Again, this is one of the fastest growing software companies, certainly the fastest uh, e-commerce uh, platform out there. And we spent some time looking at the products. They've, they've introduced some really interesting generative AI capabilities, which in our view really accelerate the time for these merchants to get up and running on the platform. Hmm. You know, things like automating coding, automating advertising, automating the content creation. Uh, we think these are some pretty unique and competitive differentiating features uh, that, that can continue to extend Shopify's uh, market share. Every year they've continued to grow their market share uh, within the, the larger e-commerce TAM and uh, we don't see any signs of that slowing down. Is there any chance uh, Shopify gets bought? Does anybody have the, the capital that they could take them out? Yeah, so it's, it's a it would be a big acquisition as as of where the stock is trading today. It's roughly a hundred billion dollar oh, wow. uh, market cap company, right? So you know <laughs> you would need to have a big acquirer. Obviously, regulators are very laser focused on 
uh, on the tech industry at the moment. So it, it does seem uh, a little large for that, but certainly a uh, important asset, a strategic asset, uh, one with a lot of growth and, and frankly, a lot of profitability. And so uh, uh, you mentioned we're not far off from uh, Shopify's earnings. Um, is there something uh, in particular, May 8th, is there something in particular <clears throat> you'll be listening out for? Yeah, so when I talk to investors, actually the biggest metric that I think folks are focused on is how they perform on the operating expense line for both Q1 and what that outlook looks like for Q2. Last quarter, the stock sold off about 10, 15% the day after earnings because the company indicated that they were going to spend more uh, on operating expenses, particularly as it relates to some of these performance marketing um, spends. Our view is that is ultimately conservative, and we actually think the management team deserves a lot of credibility. They did an amazing job increasing margins over the last year. So we do think that this spend is very high, should have very high return. And in the case that it doesn't prove to have high return, it's very easy to, to cut that spend. These aren't employees that are being hired. If I look at Shopify, you know, 8,000 employees today, their job posting suggests there's only about 80 or 90 open roles. So that to us suggests that the company continues to grow, but at in an incredibly efficient scale. Uh, they're not having to add on a ton of incremental headcount uh, to, to get this growth.